we back once again. We're going to get straight into the point. So, as you guys see in this title, this title, this will, hopefully, it's the title of this episode. is actually how to be the best man that you can be. So, I'm just going to go ahead and spill the beans. So, one of the things that I pride myself in is I study several different men. And I've studied several different men over the past couple of years. In doing so, I've studied the goods and I've studied the bads of literally every man that you could possibly think of. From the crackhead to the drug addict to the person who abuses their wife to the billionaire to the person who takes care of their family. I've studied all those and what I've done is created a, a pretty much a template and a guideline for young men like myself and even older people who are 30 plus who may not have it all together to follow to be the best man that they could possibly be. Number one is having discipline of self. Uh, when you're having discipline of self, you tend to know yourself and you tend to not let your emotions speak. You know, you don't do things off of impulse. And one thing that a lot of young men, especially a lot of men, period, especially men in the black community, is that they suffer from a lack of discipline. They don't know how to control their sex drive. They don't know how to control the foods that they eat. They don't know how to control their anger to the point to where, you know, when they get intoxicated or even when they get into a situation that they do not know how to handle, they tend to flip out. They tend to end up beating up their spouse. They tend to end up uh, flipping out, cussing everybody out, uh, <clears throat> trying to always be physical. And a lot of these things that I've just mentioned, you probably seen. And a lot of that is the cause and the lack of discipline. A lot of people need to learn, a lot of men need to learn how to discipline themselves couple ways that you can do so as far as disciplining yourself is actually uh, doing yoga, uh, spending a lot of quality time by yourself and learning all about yourself. And what I mean by learning about yourself is learning what makes you happy, learning how to do certain things, learning uh, where you want to be in life, learning how to get your affairs in order. Uh, also, last thing is actually getting therapy. Uh, when you have therapy, when s nine times out of ten, and not, and it doesn't even have to be a professional that looks at you, but somebody who can actually look at your life, even a close female friend who can look at your life and see what are your issues, and you also have to be willing to accept the errors that people are able to point out about yourself. The number one is discipline. Number two is the ability to take responsibility. This is one that I think is one of the most important things that a man can do. Um, when you end up messing up or when you end up uh, in a position to where you're the man of your house or you are responsible for a certain situation, the number one thing to do that makes you a man is actually taking responsibility and standing on business when it comes to handling those situations. And oftentimes, a lot of men who didn't have father figures or even men who have had father figures clearly don't know how to take responsibility and accountability and simply apologize or even try to fix certain situations. A lot of people, and a lot of that is because of the lack of discipline and they tend to try to make matters worse by reacting off emotion when they can simply just take the time to own up to whatever they did and try to fix the situation and a lot of men actually took the time out to account for and take responsibility for their actions not anybody else's action but taking responsibility for your actions you would be in a different place than where you are today if you know you're going through that but if you're not going through that more power to you king for sure and then also i'm gonna pause because one thing about this video i don't want to make this video seem like i'm bashing any type of people i'm actually this videos and this actual channel is actually uh for the growth and 
and betterment of all people. As you guys can see, all my past videos, I used to do videos like this back in the past. And if you follow me on Instagram or you follow me on TikTok or any of my other platforms, I've been doing this type of content. So if you guys are here, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. But number two, number one is discipline. Number two is taking accountability. Number three is learning how to treat women the right way. Um, oftentimes with hip hop culture and just the way social media is, social media has everything really, really toxic to where uh, everything that young boys see on TV is pretty much toxic when it comes to uh, the reference of a woman from calling a girl out her name to not opening a door for when she's in the presence, not showing women respect, um, not always referring to sex 24 uh, seven, knowing how to uh, have an intellectual conversation. All of those things are very important things that every man should ha know how to do. That way women can actually take the time to take you serious. Now, everybody does not deserve your time, which is okay. But that doesn't give you the right to, you know, call uh, a woman out their name, such, you know, uh, a B, a H, this, that, and the third. And I'm not going to cuss on here because, you know, YouTube is kind of funny with the uh, copyright. I've been, my camp channel has been copyrighted over like 10 times in the past like six years. So I'm trying to stand on business. But most definitely learn how to treat women. Learn how to treat women better. Even if you have to, what, one of the, I recommend studying different people on how they interact with women. A, uh, good people to follow as far as learning how to interact with women is people of the Nation of Islam or people of Islam who practice Islam a certain way. When you study, you don't necessarily have to practice Islam or convert to the actual religion, but when you actually study the way that uh, Muslim men and also people in the Nation of Islam actually treat their women, you uh, once you start treating your woman like that, or even your female friends like that, they will show you a different amount of respect. And I actually have I've been able to uh, make so many different female friends is because I treat females with respect. I'm not always trying to get into females' pants or trying to uh, just use them or and abuse them, basically. You know, and also just maintaining discipline. So even when, you know, a woman is coming at you crazy, knowing how to deal with women, that's another thing is, you know, when a, when a woman is coming at you crazy or uh, physically, violently, this, that, and the third, knowing how to deal with, with them is essential. Not letting your emotions speak and flipping out, putting your hands on the person, but actually learning how to deal with certain situations, which is going to actually lead me to my um fourth topic and the fourth topic is uh training being able to train a lot of men as i see do not know how to properly train which when you don't know how to properly train when you're not training daily or weekly or training reoccurringly you're clearly not prepared for war so when something actually goes down you are going to be caught lacking in fact i had an incident last year to where um i wasn't training like i was supposed to be like i normally would and an incident happened i did not know how to handle it and you know it kind of messed up a couple of things that i have going on in this year but it was a history lesson and just remind me okay you need to be training every day uh training in combat and also training your mind mentally to handle certain situations especially so when you're the man you the person you the person who you the go-to person you the person that need to find a solution you're not the person that you know just sit around and go cry and just uh or sob all day and just uh sit around and just uh sit in sadness all day that's not what men do Men find solutions and men uh, find solutions to their problem and actually get things done. When you get things done, a lot of people will respect you, especially when they see that you actually taking the time out to get things done and you're standing on business. One of the things that changed uh, my life when it came to being in real estate or just being in the podcast game and also just being in the business world in general was me standing on business. Uh, 
no matter what situation, no matter mu how much money I had, I always took accountability for anything wrong or right that I did. And I stood on that. And I also stood on respect and I stood on honesty. It's not one time, but can't nobody uh, say that it was I ever done any foul business nor anybody said that I've actually uh, told them a lie. You know, a lot of the things that I say, I'm now I am the type of person that I do joke a lot, but one thing about me is I always stand on business. I'm always going to be 100 with everything. And I'm always going to show that respect, too. So make sure you guys are actually just taking that time to stand on your business and be assertive. You know, it's cool to be okay and it's cool to be jiggle. It's cool to be um, that guy, but also learn how to be assertive. And one of the things that helped me was actually actually took martial arts. So I train daily. I train. I know how to shoot. I know how to clean guns. I know how to stab. I know how to uh, pretty much do it all to prepare myself for any type of situation that does come my way. Um, I, it's definitely, I de highly, highly recommend that every man knows how to shoot a gun, knows how to use knives, knows some type of martial arts, uh, whether it's jujitsu, learn how to fight on the ground, learn how to do hand-to-hand -hand combat, learn how to use every single different object as a weapon. Also, learning how to de-escalate situations number one thing that you want to do when you get into a physical competition you want to try to de-escalate the situation first because the last thing you want to do when you actually know that you can actually do something to somebody is actually de-escalate the situation so everybody can go home safe leads me to number five and number five is going to be uh taking care of of your appearance uh, one of the things that changed my real estate career and one of the things that just changed my overall skincare business was actually changing my appearance i started getting facials i started getting my nails done i started getting my feet done i started getting haircuts every week and that dramatically changed the way people looked at me like people every every time i pop outside i also changed the way i dress upon changing the way i dress a lot of people they'd be like a lot of the older people, because, you know, I'm, I just turned 22 at the time of this recording. A lot of people, they giving me utmost respect. Like, hey, brother, you look really good, man. What do you do? Type deals, you know, and it gives a different look on you. A lot of people have been giving me compliments, been saying, telling me that I'm handsome and, you know, I'm doing the thing. It makes you look different when you actually take the time out to invest in your physical appearance a lot of people tend to notice that especially when you're a young man a young black man at that as you guys can see you know my skin is really smooth i'm actually due for another facial next week but yeah that's on the way so definitely you want to take care of your appearance and other than that that's pretty much it um, I'm actually going to do a part two of this video you guys like this video but be sure that you guys like subscribe and uh, share this video um, to hopefully help somebody else become a better man. Uh, matter of fact, before I pause this video, I do want to let you guys know um, if any of you guys are trying to become the best man that you could possibly be, be sure to study people that you aspire to be like. So, a couple of people that I can recommend is studying people like Dr. Jake Talos, uh, 19 Keys, Louis Farrakhan, Malcolm X. Anybody in the nation of Islam, just the structure of actually being a man and being assertive and handling, handling certain situations. Um, other couple other people. <laughs> I don't know, but it will be in part two. If you guys like this video, I'll do a part two video. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, to share. And if you're listening to this on all pop podcast platforms, leave a review on Spotify, Apple, and all that other good stuff.